Hi, my name is Betty, and welcome back to my series on how to make a jointed fur teddy bear. In part one and two, we discussed the fur, the pattern, transferring the pattern to a template, and cutting these templates out. In this series, we're going to we're going to discuss how to transfer these pattern pieces to the fur and to cut the fur out. I also have some suede cloth which we will be using for Henry's foot pad and paw pads and I've already transferred the pattern pieces to the muslin which is going to be backing our fur before we start sewing. I'm going to start with Henry's body section since that's the largest piece that we will be cutting out. Again, the nap of the fur is going down and we use that on the template, the arrow going down. So this is the direction that the fur will be going. We make sure everything is flat and that this is pretty straight on the fur. We don't want it crooked to the, it to the side because then the fur will be going to the side. Now this is one side of Henry's body. We're going to do the second side and we always have to remember that we have to flip our pattern piece over otherwise you will have two right sides or two left sides but we need a right and a left side. I found this to be one of the most difficult things for me to remember was to flip the pieces over and when you have a limited amount of fur there's no room for error. Now we have a section here that we're going to leave open, that we're not going to stitch closed. Remember we have to sew Henry inside out and then we are going to flip him to the right side. So we, I mark these sections that we are not going to sew. Again, I have a one quarter inch seam allowance so I don't transfer the dotted lines to the pattern on the fur. I already know this. Before I started laying and drawing any of the, pat the pattern pieces on the fur, I made sure that I had enough fur to cut Henry out. So now I'm going to do the head gusset and again we look at the nap this is the front of his head and this is the back and we want to make sure that the fur goes from the front to the back and since this is a portion that's going to get a lot of stress when I'm sewing and stuffing we want to make sure that the front part and the back part is not going to be on a seam. This back part will be part of the side of the face and there's going to be a lot of stress when we turn this bear right side out. Now I'm going to cut Henry's ear He'll need, we will need four of these and I like to try to cut them where there's not a seam. 
there's going to be some tension on here when I turn the ear right side out and stitch it to the head so I try to get a smooth piece with no seams on the fur. Henry's ears are finished. Okay. We're going to cut Henry's head now and the nap is going to run from the nose, the front of the face, to the back. And this is the way the nap of the fur is going. And again, I try to eliminate seams on stress points. Um, on the head, the stress point is at the neck opening and even though we have a small seam here, we'll still be okay. Now this is the right side of Henry's head. We have to make a left side, so again we have to remember to flip the pattern piece over so that we don't have two right sides or two left sides to his head. Now we're at the lower section of the first stole and I will be cutting out Henry's legs and his inner arm on, on this piece. So again, we remember that we have to flip these pieces over. Okay, I've traced all of the pattern pieces onto the fur, and again, just a reminder, uh, go over, try not to put, to cut any of the areas on your pattern pieces where there's going to be stress points uh, when you're sewing them because you're going to be flipping them right side out, and if you pull too hard, the seams could rip. Now we're ready to cut the fur. Uh, just a couple things I want to go over. First of all, you need a pair of sharp scissors and I like these scissors because they come to a very point, a pointed end, and when you cut the fur you're not going to cut the fur itself. You're only, only going to cut the skin and you'll need a very uh, sharp pointed scissor to do this and let's get started. I'm going to start at the end where we have the feet. Again you're just going to follow the line that you've drawn with your magic marker and you'll feel just cutting the skin and as you see I'm not cutting the fur. You're just going under the surface of the skin and cutting the skin following the line. I'm just very carefully following the line. And if you see you can pull it apart and I haven't cut any of the skin, of the fur. Of course this part, when the fur starts flying, my nose starts itching. If 
Now the fur will start coming off on the edge, but don't worry. It's just where this where the cutting line was. I haven't cut any of the the fur. I've just cut the skin itself. When you're finished with this, we'll cut out the muslin. So I'm going to continue cutting out the fur. Okay, as I'm spitting out fur, fur balls, I want to show you that all of the pattern pieces on the fur have been cut out and all going in the proper direction, the correct nap. Uh, this is the muslin. Again, as I said, I have traced all the pattern pieces and I will be cutting this out next. This is the backing for each one of these pieces. And here is my ultra suede. And I will be cutting out the paw, the paw pads and the foot pads for Henry. And once all of these pieces have been complete, I've completed cutting them out, then we'll be ready to start stitching it together. <laughs> 